Today, we will demonstrate the step settings of aqueous zinc ion coin batteries GITT test. According to the literature, the voltage range is 0.2 V 1.8 V. The specific charge slash discharge voltage range is recommended to be determined by LSV or CV curves. We will set the current density to 100 mA per G. Assuming an active material mass of 1 mg, the current is calculated to be 0.1 mA based on the current density and active material mass. Open the BTS software, right-click on the channel where the battery is being held, and click Single Start. This will open the step settings interface. Before the test begins, the battery needs to be left to soak the electrodes for a set period of time, which is set here to one minute symbolically. The charging process will be set to charge for a certain period of time, then stop charging and leave it for a certain period of time, repeating the process until the set cutoff voltage is reached. As shown in the image, set constant current charge for 5 minutes, then set rest time for 5 minutes, input current of 0.1 mA. The protection settings in others boxes are not necessary to set. Set the if function. If the charging voltage reaches the upper limit of the voltage range, which is more than 1.8 V, enter step 4 constant current discharge step. Set the if condition of the step set aside to return to step 2 constant current charge after the voltage doesn't reach 1.8 V and set rest time for 5 minutes, continuing to cycle this process. Set constant current discharge time for 5 minutes, rest time for 5 minutes, also need to set if function, when discharge voltage is less than 0.2 V, jump to step 6 to complete the test. Set if condition of the step set aside. When it is greater than 0.2 V and reaches 5 minutes, jump to step 4 to continue to cycle this process. With the completion of the GITT step settings, you can either directly end the test or set it up to run multiple GITT tests in a loop. Enter the mass of active material, save the templated, and click start to start the test. The above working step parameters are set up for reference only, specifically, please set them according to the actual experimental conditions. Thank you for watching.